In this short video, we'll show you how to create a Facebook account with a limited profile, meaning it includes the minimum amount of information about you and skips all steps that invite others to be your Facebook friend. This enables you to join a Facebook group and or select a very small number of friends, such as only very close family members. This approach is in response to folks who want to make a limited number of contacts through Facebook and avoid constant friend requests, plus enhance their online privacy by restricting the information they post as part of their Facebook profile. The first step is to go to facebook.com and complete the form which requires your first and last name, an email or mobile phone number, a password, your birth date, and your gender, male or female. The email or mobile number is used to verify that you are a real person. Later in the process, you will need to verify the mobile number or the email by responding to a message from Facebook. After entering this information, select the green Sign Up button. The Step 2 screen asks if you have friends already on Facebook. If you select the Find Friends button, Facebook stores your contacts and goes through them to find individuals you might want to friend. You can always search for and find friends to add later, so if you want a limited profile and to be very selective about who you friend, ignore the Find Friends button and the links to find friends in your Outlook, Hotmail, Yahoo, and other email services. Instead, just select the Next button. A pop-up dialog box appears that is trying to encourage you to not skip this step by stating that Facebook is a lot more fun with friends. Just select the Skip Step button. The next step invites you to upload a photo or use your webcam, if available, to take a photo and post it as your profile picture. If you want other folks on Facebook to find you, go ahead and post a photo, because there may be more than one person with your name on Facebook and this helps potential friends identify you. However, if you really do not want to be found and want to minimize friend requests, skip this step by selecting the Next button and Facebook will use a standard graphic icon to represent your image. Remember that despite any privacy settings you establish for your account, your profile picture is public. So only upload an image you want to be public or use the default graphic icon. On the next screen, notice the message across the top. It indicates that you must go to your email client, find the message from Facebook to complete the sign-up process. If using Gmail, be sure to check on the Social tab for the message from Facebook. Once you open the email message, you will see a blue button labeled Confirm Your Account. Select it, and then you can toggle back to Facebook to continue. Back in Facebook, you are given another chance to search your email contacts for possible friends. On the same screen, you will see an option to get to know your privacy settings, and below that, another opportunity to upload a profile picture. We are going to skip all those options and simply select the home link top of the screen which goes to your news feed. Generally, postings by your Facebook friends and Facebook groups to which you belong will appear on the news feed, which is the center of the three columns. If you select your name just to the left of the home link, it takes you to your Facebook profile page. On this page, you will see all the postings and personal information about you, that is, any information you have chosen to provide. Because this is a brand new account, there are no postings shown and limited information. When visiting this page for the first time, you will be prompted again to add a profile picture. Select the Skip button if you don't want to upload your image. Remember, it will be public if you do upload a photo. Next, you will be prompted to enter your education, high school attended, and so on. Select the Skip button. Next, Facebook wants to know your occupation or where you work. Select the Skip button again. 
Facebook continues to ask what city you live in and seek additional information. Plus, it will invite you to post a cover photo for your page. If you really want to minimize what Facebook knows about you and thus protect your privacy, just keep selecting the skip button until Facebook stops asking. Next, we're going to discuss privacy settings in Facebook. These steps apply whether you are just now creating a Facebook account or have had one for a while. 